cleanup. We thought we were done with starts, but we're not. So what, and we're, we, we, we got the whole no, thing yeah, lift it. Like he was going to ride his race bike later in a week. Yeah. But with all the chance of the rain, I just told him, I'm like, bro, do it now. If you wait, it could get rained out. Don't want to break in a race bike on a freaking mud day. Let me lock it over. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. I was thinking, Kev, I think you got a lot of that one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, the, I did. I was like the spotter. Am I the only one? I was like the <laughs> spotter on that one, yeah. But I want to let the world know that that right there was J Law preparing for a start at the Redlands. It's not actually this. It's not this. It's like, that's how he preps. Start track. What are we doing with these young bucks, dude? I'm trying to learn how to do starts, but really I'm acting like a co-coach. I'm a co-coach, but really I'm a student. He'll be like, I'll be like, hey, what gear was that? He'll be like, second. I'll be like, try first. Try first. He'll be like, yeah, that was first. Yeah. Try second. Okay, what do you think about third? <laughs> Hey, tell him too, especially with the hydraulic clutch I've been noticing, you're not gonna sit there, it's not a cable clutch, you're not gonna say, okay, I'll just take some play out of it in the same feel. No, I think it's gonna suck, it's gonna grab and bite. We're revving the bike up before his car goes sideways. So, I'm gonna watch your car go sideways. I want you to know what a five second feels like, a five second hold. Like, cause I'm, I'm stretching it to get to three, because so I know, I Huh? As soon as he gets it sideways. When he goes sideways, one, two, three, four, five. That's the longest it'll take for the gate to drop. But because he's in rev before you go sideways, I'm stretching it to three because I don't want to blow his shit up. So I'm going to go ahead and let the cat out the bag. This is going to be a five second drop just so you know what it feels like. So basically when he turned it sideways, that's when it Yeah. You, you, why have two? Why ha you're going gas before it goes sideways. So you're in rev for two minutes, two seconds of like, you know nothing's gonna happen. I mean, that's a huge advantage to riders to know that it's gonna only fall in three, four, or five. But if you're already looking and, and revved prior or right as the car's going sideways, now you're really looking at the gate in anticipation from zero to five. That's almost twice the time, right? Especially considering you're kinda already in start mode before the car even goes sideways. Back considering it was almost getting away from him the whole way. That's pretty. That was almost a J line. Um, not really, but it had the beginnings of a loop out. It had the beginnings, but he held on. <laughs> hey, he did a good job though. He didn't put it in gear till like five. Watching that's gonna monitor it is the concept. I don't know how great it really works. Hey, the thing I liked about your first one is that like when the when you kind of wheel it a little. So you, what we've been talking about forever here. Anytime your bike goes down, it wants to come back up, right? So when you're coming across this gate and you drive your front end and you feel like sometimes you hit your front end right here. Yeah. If you can get, so if you hit your front end down here, it probably more than likely is enough of an impact to knock off your start device. Then, then you're still driving. So that, that down is going to have a rebound and that's why you have to go back to your clutch. Try to think about like having your front end up enough to manual down the backside of this. Two things you gotta think about driving your front end into that first hump and driving your front end into this. You'd be amazed at when you watch slow-mo video how many tires hit this and deflect off of it like this high. Really? It's all in if you can carry it over that metal bar. Well, re reduce it by a degree or two. That's why we're splitting hairs on this point, but I'm just telling you when you drive it into that thing, that's when a lot of your inconsistent what was the first time when he was a little bit up and the power delivery all the way down was super yeah, smooth? Yeah, carried the wheel all the way to where I was. If you watch the really, really good guys start, they don't touch the front tire down to pretty much the first turn. We'll lap y'all chasing, we're calm. Personal best. We got a 104 in him for sure. 
which is going to be like four seconds off the A guys. He's in C class, so that's going to put him in a good spot. It's hard to compare yourself because we change the track each day. Each day. I was doing like 52s on this track last Different layout. A little different. <laughs> His first one, the last one was better. People just get better and better. You know, you're not going to keep riding the same line without mistakes and get slower. It's just not going to happen. You know, so you're definitely improved. But you got to have the flow to be able to have the building block to move up. And I'll just tell you, like, yeah, you're going faster. So naturally, if you eat shit, you're going to eat shit harder. But if I was a betting man, I would say, well, as a matter of fact, you fell in that corner already once today. The more that you do it wrong, the more you have a chance to fall. You. Three things I want you to focus on. Not downshifting here, downshifting there. Not downshifting there, downshifting after the bumps. Catching you one up and one down in all the lines we just discussed. One time, just for all the glory. Dude, you're five seconds off of Grayson. That's really good. Baby. <laughs> 104.96. Not the closest finish in AMA history, but it's close, bud. <laughs> the bigger thing isn't the distance from the four to the one flat. The biggest difference is the four to the one seven, yeah. which is where your moto was at. People don't realize that when they nail the turn, the, the improvement is so small compared to when they butcher it trying to nail it, how much they lose, for real.